Let me ask you, what is it about religion that all too often manifests itself in the often violent demand that we accept one spiritual direction and no other? That's what Man Haon Monas insisted his hostages adhere to in that Sydney, Australia coffee shop yesterday morning. The 49-year-old Iranian gunman with a complex criminal record insisted that the terrorized customers that he held at gunpoint were to be considered disbelievers. What is it about some extreme elements of Islam that would allow them to believe that in their zealotry they would be acting in God's name when they kidnap young schoolgirls, kill and maim with explosives in public places, and perform beheadings for the world to see? What part of the Quran asks that of faithful Muslims? Perhaps it's the same misinterpretation of another holy book that was used to justify the burning of so-called heretics only a few hundred years ago. Scientists, artists, some poor souls who were totally innocent were victims of torture and death at the hands of the Roman Catholic Church because they may have been guilty of the sin of independent thought. So let's be careful placing all the blame on the followers of Allah. I'm Pat McMahon.